Well, let's review how a layer two switch operates. Here on screen, we've got host A that wants to communicate with host B. And notice we're on the same subnet, 10.1.1.1 slash 24, 10.1.1.2 slash 24. We're on the same subnet. We don't have to route to get to one another, but we are passing through some switches. Now, host A is giving a ping command. We're pinging host B. Well, when we give a ping command, one of the first things that, uh, that host A is going to do, it's going to look at that destination IP address. And based on host A's own IP address and subnet mask, it's going to ask the question, is this IP address on my subnet? Yes, it is. Awesome. I don't have to go to my default gateway. I can go directly to host B. However, in order to properly form a layer two frame, or I should say a layer three packet, we're sending an ICMP echo request. That's layer three. We're sending a, an echo message. In order to send that, I need to have not just an IP address, I need to have a corresponding MAC address. I know the IP address, it's in the ping command, but what's the MAC address? I don't know. How do we get that MAC address? Remember what we do? We send an ARP, an address resolution protocol message. It's a broadcast, and that broadcast comes down to switch C. What does, what does a switch do when it receives a, an unknown unicast, a multicast, or a broadcast by default? It floods it. It floods it out all ports other than the port on which that, uh, that packet was received. In this case, we're going to flood it over uh, to switch D. Now, notice we've got a trunk here. A trunk, by default, is going to carry traffic for all of our VLANs. This broadcast, uh, this ARP broadcast is going to go across the trunk to switch D. It's going to go across the trunk to switch E. And then switch E, it's going to flood it out so, to switch B, or excuse me, host B. Host B says, oh yeah, 10.1.1.2, that's me. I know the MAC address, it's my MAC address, and host B very kindly is going to respond with an ARP reply saying, here is the MAC address. We go back the same way we came, all the way back to host A. Host A now knows the MAC address of host B in addition to the, uh, to the IP address of host B. What's it going to do now? Now it's able to form that, uh, that echo request, that ICMP packet uh, that goes over to host B. We send it over to host B because we know the IP address and we know the MAC address. Host B receives it and it responds the same way it came with an ICMP echo reply and we're able to see the results on host A's screen. We are able to do a ping and we did get a reply. Success. That's just a review of how layer two switching works when we don't have to pass through a router.